Okay, in this part of the tutorial we're going to um, start adding some animation to the character. Now, um, where I got this resource from is um, Game Dev Market. I'll put the, um, the link down in the description. So um, it's like the, the third Viking here, or is it? The, no, I think it's the first Viking here that we're gonna that we're gonna use. Right now, it, it's this one. Why I chose this one is because his sword doesn't go below. Um, he's sent a, his, his legs and the other ones do so this is one's a lot better for animations so that's why I'm picking that particular one so what you want to do we're in um, the mind map we're in uh, we're going to be in world one we're going to click on the character over here we open the character click on that and over here You've got a list of um, of um, animations that you want to put into it. So um, what we'll do is um, we'll drag. Just a moment. Where are we? I'm going to choose uh, the um, the stand animation for a start. Select all those, grab it, drag it over there. And the run animation will be in the move animation. So grab all those, put that in there. The next one is the die animation. We'll grab all those and we put it in the de defeat animation. Now you've got a, a jump animation too, but when I looked at the actual files, you can see how he, um, he jumps off the ground. Now I'll put it in just to show you why I, I don't think that's a really great idea. They should actually just be in the one spot. So we'll put it in anyway. And straight away this guy is way too big. I'm thinking we're going to shrink him down maybe 0.3. Okay, that's um, point three. So we'll come back over to the character. We'll go to edit, and this is where we um, we basically will add a, a shape to him, a polygon. So we're gonna drag a few things there, click on that and then hit a plus and that puts um, one in between you go plus again so we'll put that there and we'll put that over there and we don't want it too complex, it's it's not. Right, so that's all the collision you actually need for him. So we'll just click that. Now we'll just um we'll just test him out to see how these actions all perform. 
and um, what we need to do for those. So we'll click on our little looping play button. So as you can see, sitting there pretty good. Right. Now, something's obviously um, we need to do something extra for the um, animation it's because his um, default animation, which is the idle one, is working fine. We'll try the, the jump button as well. And that's and that's what I was saying about the jump button. It's not a very good one because it goes. If we turn the um, debug mode on, you can see how how that that jumps outside the animation. So you're better off doing using a still for the jump on that. So okay, we'll just um, stop that, and on the jump animation, we'll we'll kill that. But we also need to know what's going on with the move animation, and to edit that, just um, click on your edit button. And as you can see, it's um, it doesn't have the loop turned on. So if you play it, he just plays. He actually only plays once. So so that's a little bit slow for my liking. Let's um, double the speed on that. Oh, too much. So we'll try 1.5. That looks a bit better. Looping on, OK. Um, and while we're here, we'll try looking at the death animation. And that looks fair enough. And you don't have that on looping because when he dies, you just want him to fall down and stop. So, rightio, um, we want to put in a single frame for the, the jump animation. And where are we? We'll and I think the easiest one to do is just open up your, uh, we use the run animation and we'll just use the first one okay it's only one frame so it shouldn't do anything so we'll just press play again as you can see he's walking along nicely and when he jumps he's not having that he's not jumping out of um, out of the top of the collision box so that looks pretty good that's all working well we'll just turn off the the, the debug mode for that perhaps he can go down just a touch more on the uh, collision box Cause it's just that touch above it and you can see collides pretty good there so we'll just um, alter that uh, a touch come up to edit and as you can see there he has got a gap under his um, feet a bit so we'll move that up there And move that up there. Uh, 
And one thing I haven't done yet is um, save this. So I'll go save as, and this will be demo platform number two. So we'll just test him out to see how he's sitting on the, and now he's sitting a lot better on the ground. And while we're here we might as well test him as he dies, because the spikes are obviously the, the death animation, so we'll, um, and another thing, and there he goes, he just falls down and dies, so that's, that's the player all done and um, ready to go. Um, Rightio, the next thing, next thing we'll worry about is probably um, backgrounds and, um, and tile sets to decorate your scene with. So we'll just pause it there and come back soon.